And the second one is focus. So we all know that we love these DSLR light photos. And even in today's mobile, we have this. Uh, what is it? Portrait mode. Yeah, portrait mode. Yeah. So we all love these things. This is very Instagrammable. But if we look for actual photographs, this is a problem because if we see the first image, it looks very good, but it is actually the image of a food. So we are trying to document the food, but the focus is on the rim of the bowl, not the food. So it might look good, but it's not properly documented. If we see the second image, the rice and the beresta, the onions, they are properly in focus, but the chicken is not in focus. So when you are trying to document something, you will have to document the whole thing. Uh, if, if we, we, can, we can keep the uh, rice on the back uh, blur, but we have to keep all the elements in focus because this is not a veg biryani, it is a chicken biryani. So we will have to keep the chicken in focus. And if you see the third image, that is what we should aim for because it is a raspberry. It's a beautifully blurred background, the bouquet is there, but the thing that we want to document is properly in focus. Uh, we have with us uh, Ramon Dotto, he's a very good photographer from Calcutta. Please welcome. Uh, I, I would like to uh, like him to go through the next two points because so composition is very important part of photography. Okay, so this is a temple, this is a probably a Palpara temple in Nodia, Bengal, about 100 kilometers north of Calcutta. So this is a very good perspective. You see the walls are perfectly vertical. And so this is something we can do. Okay, so whenever your camera shifts, okay, whenever you're camera, holding the camera, so, just like this, but whenever you're holding the camera, the lines tend to merge upwards. Okay? And if you're holding the camera, you're going to get top view camera, you think the under lines tend to diverge upwards. Okay? So the thing is that in order to rectify that, you have distortion correction lenses. Okay, but they do come at a huge, huge price. Okay, so we are not able, most of us are not able to afford it. So what you can do is that we have a poor man's solution. Okay, poor man's solution is software. I personally use the Photoshop software and when distortions, parallel distortions, linear distortions, different types of distortions are not getting into the details of that, those can be rectified using Photoshop to certain extent. Okay, it cannot be rectified perfectly, but over practice you can make it more and more perfect, but obviously you won't reach the 100% perfection. Okay? So, uh, so, this one, Composition. Composition, sorry. Composition, sorry. Composition, sorry. Ah, for example, common common pictures. Okay, this Hampi temple, the Vaital temple in Hampi, is a very, very common picture. So if you look up in the comments, probably it has hundreds, maybe thousands of photographs. Okay. Last case there's a discussion that should we keep like pictures of Taj Mahal? So if you see the comments, there have been photographs of Taj Mahal. Every possible photographs of Taj Mahal with the every possible background with blue sky with dark clouds with white clouds and from every possible angle. But the competition we have, we should be done this, I'm not part of the competition, I've always been a participant. So the wiki love monument. So this time in India, we second prize second prize third prize. Okay. Probably the second I just forgot the position. The second to the third prize was a picture of the Taj Mahal. So I'm not. I'm always encouraging people to take photographs of monuments which are still there, but look for unusual angles, look for unusual skies, which is obviously not under your control. Okay. And the third photograph obviously has details. We okay. have details of architecture. I'll be going it in the next slide. Okay. Next. Slide. So distortion. This photograph has a distortion. Okay. This is a image in Kala and main problem is that you cannot get back. Okay. I've been to the place, so if you take a picture from far away, the distortion becomes lesser. Okay. But in this particular position, since I've been familiar with the structure, you cannot get back. Okay. It cannot get back. So you have to take it and use Photoshop to rectify it or the other option, if you have a lot of money with you, you can buy a distortion correction lens. And this is 
perfectly, the first one is a perfectly corrected image, you are corrected like this, okay? The photograph may have been in a this way, but it has been corrected. And in some cases, it's better to keep the distortion because distortion adds to the aesthetic value of the photograph, okay? So, if you keep the distortion, this looks, this is distorted, okay? Very much distorted, but it looks very nice because the lines are pointing towards the up, okay? So, keeping the distortion for artistic value can also add value to the photograph, okay? So, especially for, you know, when you are sending photographs for competitions like WLM, this would be very, very useful. What is the that actually. Mm -hmm. So this is the last part, okay, yeah. So, will you have any questions related to photography yeah. and the type of photographies you use? By the way, how many use a DSLR or a mirrorless camera? How many of you have a DSLR camera? Yeah. Not much, okay, fine, yeah. So, obviously, how do you post-produce post post your photographs, okay? You use production, uh, should it draw? Should it draw? Ah, so most of the people should be raw. Okay. So raw gives you a lot of image to rectify your photographs after you have shot. Okay. So that's the image I will always encourage people to shoot in raw. Thank you, Ramunda. So uh, the thing is that if we actually look for, uh, can you go to the second slide, please? Uh, yeah. No. So, if we look for these four points, if we, if we can correct these four points, we can get a huge increase in quality images. So, this exposure focus, composite, uh, not in a very, uh, in a way which is very common, and then the distortion, you will have to correct it. You can shoot it, you will have to correct it, you will have to post process it. And uh, the last part one. And apart from that, of course, do not over process your images because sometimes people tend to over process the sky. It looks very, very fake. And do not compress or reduce the size of the image. Uh, there are two, try not to have too much noise because sometimes we can't avoid because there's low lighting, there's some noise, but try to avoid the noise. Uh, try to do a color correction because auto white color corrections are not always correct and try to avoid reflections and lens flare because when you are talking and taking some pictures of something uh, behind the uh, mirror, uh, behind the glass, so trying to avoid the reflection. If we can look for these things, if we can correct these things, uh, there will be a huge, huge increase in quality images. Thank you. That will be so we have been the Calcutta chapter, the West Bengal chapter has been organizing photo works for since 2012. Okay? So obviously COVID times have been difficult. We are not allowed to do it regularly. But most of the photographs have been photo works have has happened in the month of December, January, and the reason is obviously is the February weather. We will be a tropical country. The only the winters are good. I think same for Bangladesh also probably. Also, so. But the sky is in winter, in our subcontinent, is very very dull and without any elements. So, we can think of photo works, especially in the post-monsoon session, September, October, when the skies are more beautiful and we can get more beautiful pictures. So, I would suggest people who are planning, obviously the temperatures won't be favorable, the chances of rain, but I would definitely suggest we can think of photo works for all parts of India and the subcontinent. We can think of photographs in September, late September, early October, when the skies can be favorable and we can get good photos. Okay. So this is something I just want to add today. Okay. Thank you so much.